Hey, what's going on guys? Destructinator here, and today we are back with another Black Ops 3 video. This time we got something completely different for you guys, though, because we are going to be attempting the 700 kill challenge on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is the challenge in which I have to get 700 kills in a mere 10 minutes in a free-for-all in custom game with several bots and things like that. So, we're off to an okay start here. Let me get this guy, this guy. If we get one more guy to spawn over here, that'd be swell. There we go. Just to give me my wraith. That's all we needed right there. And we're going to start cooking. So hopefully we can do this. This is, I believe, my third attempt uh, of trying to do this. It is hard, guys. Let me tell I, you know, I was going into this. I was like, oh, you know, it'll probably be kind of difficult. But it shouldn't take me more than one or two tries. But really, really hard. Let me, let me just make that clear. It's hard. It is not an easy challenge. As much as it might seem like one. Uh, for some of you pub stompers out there especially like I know for me I thought like people were going for this challenge like oh yeah it's kind of cute and like it, but it's not hard you know that's what that was what I thought I was like oh, it can't be hard it can't be hard but it's hard <laughs> it is really hard uh, because you need 70 kills a minute and that math does not add up for how, how many kills you can get in a minute of Call of Duty just playing normally even when you have streaks going in like I do right now it's hard so we're gonna do our bestest we're hopefully gonna be able to, to do as well as we can. My the record that I've seen is 613. That's what that's what I believe the current record is right now. I don't think anyone has actually completed this challenge on Black Ops 3. So we're gonna do exactly as much as we can to make it happen. Um, that requires getting ammo though and seeing people because I don't see anyone right now. There's someone. I also don't want to die. I'd like to die as little as possible, but of course, as soon as I say that, I explode. Um, you're dead. You're gonna spawn here again? Yes? Yes. Okay. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, these bots are actually on recruit, and I'll leave the full, like, rules and everything in the description so you guys can check that out if you want to try it yourself, which you definitely should. If you guys do end up trying this yourself, make sure to tweet me your records and your challenges and things like that. I would love to see it because it's it seems like a very it's a very interesting challenge. It's a lot of fun. I would love to see how you guys do on it. Uh, so yeah. But that being said, it's 11 recruit bots. Just that's part of it, um, which you'd think would be pretty easy, like I keep saying. But eventually, you know, there's a point at which numbers overpower uh, actual abilities. So no matter how good you are. Even if you're like the best at Call of Duty, if I put a hundred people against you, they're gonna be able to, you know, get a kill on you, eventually. So, it's not, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Although, to be fair, the only time we've died so far was because of ourselves. So, what does that tell ya? We're going to try our best as well to drop these GI units around the map. I'm not exactly, I actually don't use GI unit, like, ever. And we just died. So... I'm not entirely sure how like the placement works and like whether they can only run in a certain area that you put them in and things like that. Okay. But we're gonna we're gonna just do what we can. There we go. That's what I like to see from my streaks. I and I found that this is probably the best place to go because you can just sort of run back and forth right here. Uh, if you guys know a better place, tweet it at me so I can have a better chance at getting this. Here we go. I also always jump out of the map a little bit when I'm jumping back and forth here, so that's always fun. Nope, you're sniping me, don't do that. Whew. The 30% health means anybody can kill you too, pretty much, so you gotta be on the lookout constantly. Uh, no, Wraith can't call it in. Uh, you're dead. Come on. It's also hard because in this game you can't just like call in your streaks like you could with Black Ops 2. Because if you guys didn't know that this that's where this challenge originated actually was Black Ops 2. Um, and you know Black Ops 2 like dog swarm things like that. Uh, you could just call them in like you know pretty easily like. Oh they, they weren't as hard to or they weren't as easy to overlap as they are in this game I feel like. But we're doing our best here so we're going to see exactly how much we can do. We need to be exactly 100 kills more than we have right now, at this point in time. So that's always good. 
I just missed all those bullets. That was pathetic. And I died. Okay. That's fine. We can afford a couple deaths here and there. But we gotta get right back into it as soon as we die. That's the key. Is because you gotta make sure that you go in as well. Like it can't you can't just let your streaks go at it. You have to be able to get kills as well yourself, because otherwise it's just not gonna happen. That, so that's if you guys want some tips, that's tip number one is make sure you are constantly getting kills yourself with your gun, not with your streaks. Don't focus on calling in the streaks too much. Try to get them in, but like if it you know if you need to wait a little bit, that's fine too. It's not you know it's not the end of the world if you don't get to call in your raps as soon as they can be called in. Although it does help. Also, GI unit I think is very good because as far as I know, you can have four of them on the map at the same time. So what that means is that you can just go in. <laughs> Alright, uh, where? Okay, there we go. There's some people. Okay. We're, we should try to position our rates a little better too. I think I'm putting them too far just directly over the... That guy's kinetic armor? What is the luck? That was unfortunate. Uh, out of ammo, almost. And we get shot in the back. No good. Okay. We're bad. We're in a bad spot right here, guys. We're not, uh, we're not nearly close enough to what we need to be, and I keep dying. Oh, this is no good. Look at that spawn. It gets intense with these, uh... 11, 12 man lobbies because they just keep spawning all around you. Did I st How did I destroy a C4? Whatever, I'll take it. I'll take the free points. I need every point I can get. Also, my personal gun of choice for this, <gasps> oh no, is the Man of War. Mostly because it's a one shot at pretty much any range on Nuketown when you're on 30 health. So it's always a good choice. Or you can just one-shot people like that. <laughs> I'm missing all my shots. Oh no. I, if I can't hear the sound of a million streaks going off, then I know I'm doing it bad. Because you need to have streaks at pretty much every single point in the game. We still have an opportunity to catch up here, though. We're not we're not in too far yet. We're not in too bad of a spot. Here we go. See, we're all right. Get back in position, and we're good to go. After we got a few few extra rounds here and there, I this this smoke grenade is is killing me. That's a spawn, that's a spawn. That guy keeps spawning next to me for some reason. Great thing about GI units as well is that they actually destroy like Hive and C4 and all that good stuff, so you don't even have to worry about it. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Where is where's the enemies when I need them? I need to see the enemies. The only thing is that they block spawns a lot, so if they're just sort of sitting on top of you, that can be bad. Okay, we're in a bad spot here. Where oh, is that guy? Okay, we're at 500. back. This is our final uh, push here to the end. Oh, I did not mean to call that in. That was a waste. Five forty four, five forty. Five forty nine. 
all right that's that's my best so far so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video that was pretty intense if you did please be sure to leave a like you guys should definitely try out this challenge as well this is not the last time we're gonna see me doing this because I want to get that 700 I want to do it so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did if you want to see more challenges like this be sure to leave a like make sure to tweet me also if you guys go ahead and go for the challenge yourself remember the rules are in the description down below my name is the and I'll see you guys later